Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Diana. So, today has been a long day already and it's only 2.20 p.m. And it's been a long day because you guys, I had a doctor's appointment today um, because I was actually experiencing a little bit of, of things and it got me really nervous and anxious. So I decided to make myself an appointment um and let's get into why i made an appointment and let's get into why let's just talk about it so um i actually was at the gym on monday and i was running cardio you know and i got a sharp pain kind of like right here i got a sharp pain right here and i was like what the hell is going on which is actually on my left side of my chest which is where my heart is located or which is where our hearts are located so that itself shook me i was like what the hell is going on why am i feeling discomfort i was really really scared and nervous and anxious as one would be so after that i continued to feel discomfort like a little bit of pain not so much you know like actual uh pain pain but more just discomfort as the days went on so then i was like you know what i'm getting really anxious i need to make an appointment for myself so i made an appointment and i was really lucky enough to get an appointment in the same week that i made the appointment like i found a slot on friday which is today and so then i was like fuck it i have to go because like, this i can't like i can't think that's the only thing i could think about because i was so stressed i just wanted to know i was just anxious i wanted an answer i wanted to i wanted to know what was going on so you know today i show up to my appointment i started to tell her uh, about my concerns and why i'm even you know there and i tell her of course i include that i was feeling discomfort i you know i felt a sharp pain and i also told her that it's very sensitive to the touch and it hurts if you put pressure it hurts and compared to my right side it doesn't hurt as much my right side does hurt but not as much as my left side hurts so i told her that and right off the bat she was kind of like no i i don't really think it's anything to do with your heart and she explains to me that i guess when it has something to do with your heart it doesn't hurt to touch you know to press on it and like obviously that was like a good sign so then my doctor decides to do a more hands-on uh you know look through what's to see what's really going on she pulls out her stethoscope and she begins to like hear my heartbeat and automatically she's like you know your heart sounds really healthy like she checked it in all different types of places so that was a lot of good news because you know typically with stethoscope you can hear there's a certain like offbeat heartbeat which is kind of alarming you know so her telling me that i was like okay what a relief so then she decides to like press the area where i'm already like in a lot of pain and um so then she decides to like you know do one of these and it really hurt i was like ah that hurts because she was like you know and then after that she basically came to the conclusion that i had actually hurt my muscle by working out i was like wow i didn't even know this she also concluded that i did not need an ecg so basically that just monitors your heartbeat and it makes sure that there's no abnormalities so then obviously if there's an abnormality then there has to be like further you know things done to it but you know thank god like i didn't need that um so that's where i'm at right now i have a, a strained muscle so then i asked her you know so kind of like what should i be doing at the gym for now like meanwhile and like what's kind of like the recovery timeline um she did give me a week to like lay off like the weights and stuff so she did say i could still continue doing cardio so i basically can still work out just kind of reduce and stop using weights for now meanwhile like i recover um and she did obviously include that i should be putting icy hot uh right here i actually have some on right now and she also did include like ice packs and stuff um she did prescribe me medicine so then the question is what caused me to do this like did i overdo it with the weight or did i just not have a right posture and i like pulled something doing it wrong you know so there's a lot of possibilities but like for me moving forward like to be very careful because it actually hurts a lot you guys especially like if i slightly put pressure it just like feels so uncomfortable so i wanted to share this little story with you guys just in case any of you guys are out there also going hard at the gym just be very careful with how much weight you're putting and also your posture and like um you know because some of us we don't know nothing about the gym it look good you know uh, i just wanted to share this little experience with you guys so that you guys are also very aware and just be careful when you're going hard at the gym hey besties so i'm gonna ikea now um we still haven't gone up to the store but i'm waiting for my aunt here she comes. So we're about to head up to the um, showrooms and stuff. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Look at how pretty this room is. No, it's changing. Right now we are at the pegboard section. I don't know. They just got a bunch of sections. And my aunt is actually looking for something because she already has a pegboard and like some of the accessories that come with it. So she's buying more to finish it up and make it look like all cute and stuff. But they don't have a lot of stuff, huh? They don't have a lot of stuff like um, that she was hoping to find. They do have like the basics, you know, like this and like a bag and the pegboard. These are gonna work. No. Oh, I, I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh no, those are ugly. They're kind of ugly. Now we're gonna be getting these things. What are they called? I don't know what they're called. But you know the one with the instrument, or no? But the what is it called? Utensils? What is it called? The you know, the Bob the Builder stuff. Hey besties, so we came to Old Navy. We're doing a little quick shopping, you know, for Father's Day. Oh, it's so hot in the mall, huh? Is it just me? It's just, yeah. I feel like I'm overheated. My plate is so very oh, Extra, extra large. Oh my god. Next up, Target. Are you? Oh. oh, those were diapers. Okay. Should I just get these for them? Or these more bigger ones? Yeah, these are nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, besties. It is a brand new day today. Hold up, let me swallow my thumbs. So, right now I'm actually going to start doing my hair because we are going to go to the casinos. And the reason why we're going to go is because tomorrow, Father's Day, is actually my grandma's birthday. So, she loves the casino. So, you know, we have to take care because that's what she loves. So, we're going to do that. I'm so excited. Um, hopefully, we have fun. They are pretty far from us, you guys. I'm going to apply some heat protectant um but yeah so they're definitely a little far for us so um we're gonna head out soon so hopefully i have enough time to do my hair you guys i am in love with true crime right now i don't know what it is i just like i like watching it like it is so captivating i can honestly have it on repeat and like just let it play and i i hear every detail so for today i will pull out the installer again i'm gonna give it another try last time y'all i don't know it really wasn't it for me i didn't really like how i looked i didn't like how my hair was looking so we're gonna give it another try and you know hopefully it comes out good um i'm thinking maybe i just wasn't doing it right i don't know maybe because it was the first time i probably didn't have like the technique down so i feel like i could do better now so we're gonna give it another try hopefully i like how it looks because if i don't you guys i'm gonna be so disappointed because like imagine spending that much time doing your hair and then you don't like it like how frustrating besties okay so what ended up happening was i did not like how my hair was turning out at all so i just decided to go with my regular hair crazy puffy you know just me um and then i put these two random braids in the front of my face to kind of like accentuate my face shape so that's what we have going on i am wearing my shirt that i got from h&m um, I do have an H&M haul where I wore this shirt and I showed you guys a bunch of other pieces I'm just wearing my mom jeans uh, Curvy fit or something like that my white air forces. We have summer vibes out here y'all We're trying to embody summer because you know I like summer now before I didn't like it, but now I like it. So I'm like, okay, we could get along We could get along. So that's what we fit up embody today I think 
she has 50, 53, 54, 55, right? Yeah. Hey, you made like $40 more than you. Yeah. We're supposed to be good now. Huh? What the hell? Huh? Oh. Oh.